bloggers, pow! So I've dragged myself kicking and screaming into the modern age and bought a Switch. And what am I going to do with my brand new modern console? That's right, play really old arcade games on the SNK 40th anniversary collection. Yeah! So straight off the bat I'll mention when you buy this and put it in your console for the first time it has a selection of games. However, when you update it, it actually adds more games to it. So um, that's really cool that they can add games, you know, it's not DLC per se, but they can add games with updates, which is it's really cool. Um, now I'm not going to fiddle with the museum because I can't be bothered. So we're going to go straight into the arcade. So, um, you've got a selection of games here, so we can start from the top. We're going to play a few of them but we're not going to play all of them. So let's start off uh, quick on Alpha Mission. Now, one cool thing is you can switch to region on these. So US, Japanese, US, Japanese. Um, it doesn't make a great deal of difference in some cases. There's language differences, things like that. So um, let's go on with this. Also, you can switch between arcade and console. And console generally means the NES version. So it would be the NES version of Alpha Mission. So there we go, it's the preview of the NES version, and then let's play the arcade one. So I'd already started a game on this previously, so um, here we go. Alpha missions are fairly standard upward scrolling shooter, you know, it's things serious because you've got um, air and ground shots. There was a follow-up to it on Neo Geo, which I have covered in the past. Oh, it's a nice enough little game. Now, one thing I will just point out with these uh, games on this compilation, you've got a pretty handy rewind function, which when I die, I will show you. Oh, I'm building up a weapon there as well. That's the thing with uh, Alpha Mission, is you build up weapons to... Uh, make a uh, thing that will go on the ship, so there we go. Bolt it on, yeah, look at all that extra firepower I have now. And Oh, it's gone, okay, bye. Right, yes, okay, so if I want to rewind that, I can just hold down one of the shoulder buttons and I can rewind it. So I can go back to this, I can select my weapon again. Oh, I've got a slightly different weapon this time for some reason, okay. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this is an interesting little thing you can do on the, on all the games on this, is you can rewind it, and uh, like the uh, Scotch video skeleton, you can re-record, re -record, not fade away. So yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's move along to another game. I don't want to spend too long on these games, otherwise we will be here all day. So yes, Alpha Mission, that's good. Uh, let's have a quick go on Athena. Now that's not particularly good, but we'll quickly have a go on it. I'm going to show you the uh, the screen options while I play that. There we go, Athena. So if you press the uh, minus key, it'll bring up this. And down the bottom, you've got your uh, next thing. So I can go full screen, which brings up this horrible stretched mess. Or I can go, oh, I don't want to quit it. sharp screen which uh, makes it a smaller probably more accurate play area and I'm dead again I'm always dead go down to I'll put that back as it was which was full screen oh dear I'm getting all mixed up full screen TV filter so I had it set to monitor filter oh I've taken a capture by accident okay I didn't mean to do that so there's a monitor filter so it's got more scan lines, vertical scan lines, all these things. Let's go back. You've got, of course, you've got no filter, at, no filter at all. So if you don't want any scan lines at all, you can do that. Keep on pressing the capture button. It's because I'm using this Pro Controller. All right. TV filter and the border again. will just remove the border there. You can just see that like that so so yeah I used Athena as, as 
can say that because there's nothing really else to say about about Athena apart from it's not very good. Okay, let's move along. Uh, Bermuda Triangle, now that I am going to cover in a shooter up special soon, so I'm not going to cover that here. Uh, chopper, fairly standard upward scrolling shoot em up thing, as you can see there. Nothing special about that. Uh, I think no, it's just, just the arcade version on that, you don't have a MES version to play. Crystalis. Crystalis? Crystalis? Yeah, Crystalis. That's like a, a, it's an, it's a NES game. It's a NES Stoke Famicom game. It's an RPG sort of thing, so I'm not going to get stuck into that right now. Fantasy. Okay, let's have a go on this. Okay, How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Mm, little bit of speech there. The guy comes to my island, steals my lady friend and buggers off in a boat. So. Take to your balloon. This is going to be like balloon kid or something. Oh, land here. Okay. Rescue cherry. Oh shit! There's a gun there. You don't appear to have a button. You just move left and right and wave your chopper around. <laughs> um, okay. Oh. Open the door. Oh, okay, um, and you can only attack while moving sideways by the looks of things. Moving up and down doesn't do anything, but if you're moving sideways into a hostile, you can cut them good. So there's a stage done, and oh yes, predictably enough, she's been stolen again. Your princess is probably in another island. Enemies taking to the balloon again, which... Oh, Christ almighty, the end. Yeah, okay, moving on. Let's play something else. What's we have here? Oh, Guerrilla War. Yes, Guerrilla War. So, the game's so nice, they named it twice. Of course, in the, it's called Guevara, as in after Che Guevara in Japan. That didn't sit too well with Americans, so uh, they called it Guerrilla War, but managed to keep all the um, Cuban iconography in there. But uh, yeah, it's a fairly standard scrolling shooter. Um, it's, it's just like Akari Warriors. In fact, let's have a quick go because there's something I do want to quickly talk about that. This, uh, again, new game. Hail the heroes of the revolution. Indeed, El Presidente. Now, um, this, Akari Warriors, Victory Road, and a load of other. SNK games had a twisty joystick control thing. Now on this compilation that's been mapped so it's a twin stick shooter like Smash TV which is a stroke of genius because playing these under emulation on main was absolutely horrible. So you shoot with a shoulder button, ch chuck your grenade with the other shoulder button, but you can rotate the joystick like you would in any normal twin stick shooter, which is absolutely brilliant. Really, really good that you can actually play these games properly now without having to faff about with weird control schemes or reconfiguring buttons. I even tried playing this with mouse and keyboard once. That's how desperate it got. But yes, really good game, two players, so this is worth having a go on. Uh, I generally prefer the pace of this to things like Akari Warriors or Victory Road. Okay, let's move along. So yeah, Akari Warriors, uh, again you've got the choice of the uh, arcade or console version. Let's have a quick go on the console version. I wonder if the cheap works, I'm looking for them. So. Okay. so it's nice that they've got these NES versions on here, it's um, pretty cool. Uh, but obviously there's no real refinements to the NES version, it still plays pretty poorly. But it's um, it's there, it's for you to play if you want to play, if you've got certain amounts of nostalgia for the NES version. You know, you can knock yourself out and play it, so that's, that's good stuff. Right, let's move along. Uh, Victory Road, so it's a Curry Warriors 2. Again, you've got uh, NES and arcade versions. 
and the, the region switch as well. I'll call you three. Again, you've got, uh, yeah, you do have the uh, Gunners version as well, so uh, that's nice. Iron Tank. Now, I get confused here because Iron Tank is a NES exclusive. Um, it's not the same game as TNK3, which is already on this, and I always thought they were the same game, but they're not. Um, very, very similar. Again, Akari Warriors in a tank. Um, so, uh, it's on there. Uh, Munchmobile, that's that strange bug-eyed upper scrolling game that a, might be Spy Hunter's slightly demented cousin. Ozama Wars, what's that? Let's have one, one demo. It's going to be Space Invaders. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a Space Invaders starship. It looks very slow, doesn't it? Right. Paddle Mania, oh that's, that looks like a tennis game, let's have a quick dash on that. Select desire, desire to play by joystick and press button. That's his computer I guess. Yep. On easy. First, US Nancy Net. You'll have, I can read that. Okay. Oh, Wait. Oh God, it's done with a twisty joystick. It's flailing it around like a... That's bizarre, because it's not... It's more like... Windjammers than a tennis game. Oh. I really thought this was a tennis game, but it's not. It's, 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 it's like Windjammers. That's bizarre. Okay, well, learn something new every day and uh, that, but uh, yeah, okay. What's next? Uh, POW, the uh, sideways scrolling fighting game, a bit like Double Dragon. Let's just wait for the demo to roll. There we go, so there's that. Prehistoric Isle, um, yes, uh, I've covered that before. A really, really good horizontally scrolling shooter, so that's nice. Again, um, that's only arcade. Uh, you can choose Japanese or American flavours for that. Oh, Psycho Soldier. So we're going to have a go on that. that that's, I like this game. Athena, absolute big, great big pile of shit. Psycho Soldier, however, I really like. It's simple and fun. It's not even really a platform. It's sort of a scrolling run and gun more than a platform. There's no actual... I mean, it happens on multiple planes, sure, but it's... Uh, no jumping involved. You can jump when you're not surrounded by platforms, but uh, it's fun. And of course it's got that really, really lovely vocal track as its soundtrack. Absolutely brilliant. I really like this. Again, it's a two-player game. It's really, really good fun. Yes, yeah, so I can sit and play this for a while, and I have done it in the past, so uh, it's good. And of course, because it's got the um, different lang language versions of it, you can play it with the uh, Japanese or American soundtrack. In fact, I'm going to cut to the American soundtrack uh, quickly because it is really, really awful. In fact, so, so tacky, it's actually amazing. But I much prefer to play the Japanese version of, uh, of the American one because it was the version I played down Margate, was the Japanese version. And you just couldn't believe it, there was an arcade game that was singing to you. Well, let's rewind that because it was a dreadful mistake. Let's do that differently. And you could do that in real life, eh?
Yeah, really good game. Always recommend Psycho Soldier. It's really good fun, really colourful and fun. Okay, let's move along. Right, Suzuki versus Commander. Now that is a space and just playing but with space and ninjas or something instead. It's colourless. Yeah, it's even really it's, it's it's well it's more like Galaxians with ninjas. Oh you can see Akuma's sprayed his tag on the background there. Brilliant. So Street Smart, let's have a quick look at that. And you can change your region if you want. It makes a slight difference to the um, logo for some reason, but okay. Uh, just an arcade game. Let's get started with this. So we have a game which I didn't catch what year this was. Um, it's uh, obviously was is a pre Street Fighter 2 fighting game. But uh, not really any real reason to play this. I mean, there's plenty of other one on one fighting games. I mean, hell, there's a Street Fighter collection here on the Switch you could probably play instead. Oh, yes, this isn't particularly good, is it? I'm sure there's other things we would rather play than this. Okay, let's move along. Right, Time Soldiers. I really do like Time Soldiers, so we're going to have a quick go on that. Yes, the time travel back in time to do some stuff and this, that, and the other. This is another of those twin stick shooters. So, um, have a quick on this. This is one of the faster of them. It's, it's faster, than, plays faster than Arcari Warriors. It plays faster than Guerrilla War. So this plays really smoothly. And again, I'm so glad that you can play this using a twin stick now, rather than absolutely dreadful twisty controls. So, so much more playable to be able to do that. Absolutely fantastic. But again, you won't play it too much, otherwise, I will be here all day playing games on my and will get bored and turn off. If you haven't already, oh, of course. Yep, let's move along. Alright, TNK3, like I said, that's the game I thought Iron Tank was, but they do appear to be different games. Um, they're very, very similar though. I think um, Iron, Iron Tank, they um, put in World War II sort of iconography, and this one's very much not World War II. But okay, let's move along. Vanguard, oh yes, I do like Vanguard. Let's have a go on Vanguard. Vanguard essentially is scramble. So, but with four fire buttons, you've got five buttons to fire upwards, downwards, left, and right. Um, and you can use the the, uh, the second analog stick for fire as well, if you like. So again, turning it into a bit of a twin stick shooter. When the original arcade game had, like I say, four fire buttons. Oh, let's get the extra energy. Oh shit. Oh no, no, we are okay. Uh, extra energy gives you a uh, invulnerability for a while while playing what appears to be the music from Flash Gordon. Which is nice. Oh crap. Let's rewind that. There we go, there we go. that's more like it. But yeah, Vanguard's really good fun. It's uh, a nice riff on the whole scramble thing. And you've got... Um, these bits where it scrolls in different directions as well, which is nice. I've always enjoyed this. Now, um, I don't know if it'll be added in a further update, but Vanguard 2 is not on here. Um, but no great loss. I mean, it, it's all right. It's a multiple, multiple direction um, shoot em up uh, akin to the. Um, vertical the top down stages in Thunder Force 2 but it's no great shapes. This however is superb. Really do like Vanguard. Okay let's move along to something else then. World Wars and that's the last game on on here at the moment. So let's have gone that. 
So we have a upward scrolling shoot em up. Oh, okay. It's an upward scrolling shoot em up with, again, twin stick controls. So you find different directions. Oh, lovely. That's a bit unusual. But, uh, it's essentially a Xevious style shooting game. Um, that is. There's these twin stick controls, very unusual. Pretty cool though. I'm enjoying it, I've not heard of this one before, so that's always nice. Well, and we're piling up our weapons by picking up the NG icons. You can see at the side you've got the uh, NG icon meters, like a, I suppose, like a. What's that thing in blue? Blue Peter where he used to raise money. It looks like one of those totes, totes on the total on motel. Oh, yeah. He can totalizer. That was probably what it was called. A totalizer with that weapon energy rather than helping screaming orphans somewhere. Again, yeah, two players. A lot of these are two player games, which is really, really good. So if you've got a friend, grab them and. Uh, I'm not sure how they play on the um, on the Joy Cons. I'm not sure how that would work with uh, with twin stick games, especially. But uh, you know, but yeah, recommending this as well. This is good fun. Coming up to the boss. Just have a quick bash on this boss and then we'll uh, also have a quick over here. Very, very easy boss. And across the next stage via a world map. Lovely. Okay. Um has got save states as well, so. I can save that point there. Brilliant. So yes, the SNK 40th Anniversary Collection on the Nintendo Switch. That's got a lot of games on there. There's a lot of games which are fun to play. Um, you're totally spoiled for choice for upward scrolling, running guns with Guerrilla War, the Akari Warriors games, Time Soldiers, Iron Tank, etc, etc. A couple of shoot 'em ups, a um, couple of turds, we're looking at you, Athena. But yeah, it's good. And of course, the whole thing is there's the propensity there for uh, extra games to be added with more updates. So um, that's good. I'm not sure what else I'd want on there, to be honest, without getting into the realm of Neo Geo stuff. But um, I'm really, really happy about this. And I'm happy that I've uh, spent money on old arcade games on a brand new modern console. Yeah. But that's just me. Yeah, subscribe or naff off.